Anyways, let's get on to some, some hate and jealousy, shall we? Hate and jealousy, that's what we're here for. Apparently, I'm the hate and jealousy man. Oh, I'll take that. I'm like, cool, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm the hate and jealousy man. I really, I really hate them, the men them, apparently. I'm like, okay, whatever. I find it funny. I find it funny. Um, let's have a look at something fun. Let's have a look at something fun. So this was sent to me as a screenshot. One of my mates, he picked this up. <laughs> so actually gave me a laugh. Said that Australian guy makes me laugh, criticizes the mandem, you know, them Aussie mandem hate us low key. <laughs> I don't hate anyone. That's the funniest part. I don't hate anyone. It's just funny how people think I do. I just love that. This was hilarious. I'm that Australian guy or I'm the Aussie mandem from now on. That's why it's now my Twitter cover. My Twitter cutter cover and YouTube cover is now the Aussie Mandem. That's me. That's who I am. <laughs> Anyways, let's have a look at this. This was from the other day. Rance uh, apparently said something to the effect of stop clipping me or I can have your channel taken down or something. Let's have a look. Look, man, even saying that, 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 that no context, brother, has already clipped this stream. Do you know what I'm saying? Brother, if you're watching right now, I'll be real, yeah. I might just get your account taken down, bruv, if you keep clipping bullshit <laughs> in my channel. <laughs> well, I'll get clipped on there. If so this apparently wasn't uh, directed at No Context Fan TV. There's another tweet which we'll get to in a moment. Let's just keep listening so you get the whole uh, idea of this. No, no, I'll be real because you know what it is, yeah? You know what? I'm getting to the point now, yeah? I'm getting to the point now where if you're literally clipping man out of context, yeah? And you're making my life more inconvenienced than it needs to be. I'll get your whole account removed. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, first things first. What are they clipping? How are they clipping it? And if they're just clipping things that you have said verbatim, how is that? How is that any anything negative towards you? If you've said them. If you've said them, whether they said on your original stream or they said on someone else's or someone tweets it or clips it with the YouTube function and then tweets it somewhere, how is that How is that a bad thing? How is that negative? Toski says we need our own mandem talk. Bro, I ain't no mandem here, man. We would just be copying the Brits in it. We'd just be calling everyone mandem and saying like, you know, uh, Jamaican slang and things like that. It's pretty crazy. It's a bit of beef happening in the chat as well. Terry said Matt was so annoying on group chats, just waited for something to perma ban him. Interesting. Very interesting. Rance can't take you down. He is mad. I don't think he's talking about me, though. I think he's talking about this other channel. Um, let's just keep watching. Do you know what I'm saying? If you've posted something from this stream without context, because when I'm having nuanced conversations, don't clip half the conversation. Do I think that's what saying? they do, though, Rance. That's what they do. They take one No, minute. but I'll be real, innit? I mean it in this the most serious way, yeah. Like... I'll get your shit eradicated. Do you know what I'm saying? If that is the case, you know them ones there. Do you know? So apparently, yeah, Aussie brother. Aussie brother. You know what I mean? What you talking about them? So that's apparently the case. Now, apparently, I just want to get back to this start here. Look, man, even saying that, 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 that no context brothers already clipped this stream. Do you know what I'm saying? Brother, if you're watching right now, so he's mentioned No Context Fan TV. I don't think he's actually referring to them because there's another tweet here. Uh, this is funny. Suck your mum. That was brilliant. That was fantastic. Uh, where was it? There was a tweet. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I had it saved. I hate when I go to my thing. Here we go. This one here. It says here. There it is. He says, I don't know if you actually watched this video, but he wasn't talking about you, yet another video taken out of context. Well, it is no context fan TV. He was literally talking about United Ellis. Lee was the one gunning after you, but he didn't say anything about deleting your platform. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. And uh, look, someone said that they're calling out for him. Again, I don't know if that's specifically them or not. It's a bit of an odd one. But then No Context responded with, respectfully, we aren't watching and haven't been watching since May. And that's um, 145k views from his little, you know, oh, is that Malaysia, brother? Or whatever he said when they're playing in the FA Cup final when he put his glasses on. You know, this trophy thing, yeah? It's not for everyone, brother. You know what I'm saying? 
sipping his tequila and all that good stuff. So that was one little interesting bit there that I um that I noticed. But some of the uh the replies here, this one from No Context Fan TV was actually mad. They said if we wanted to clip funny entertaining content, we'd watch your brother who's actually talented. Bro. Bro. If that is not an insult and a half, I don't know what it looks like. He's got a mad afro here with that winter jacket, that that fur hoodie over the top. Looks like he's got a mad afro. That is that is peak. I did like it because I did find it funny. Most sensitive says here, most sensitive idiot on the platform. Man was really on that. I got connections talk. Rants for someone that has so much energy, can't take much back. Can you? My boy has a manager at YouTube Vibes. My dad works at Microsoft. He'll get your account banned, etc., etc. Bro, carry on clipping that insecure idiot. Need him to cry more. He can't do shit. I mean, yeah, bro. I, I actually think I had a conversation with my mate. He actually thinks that this like properly like devastated him in a way. Oh, like they follow me too. Hectic. <laughs> they, this actually like hurt him in a way. Like this comment here, like absolutely like, ripped him to shreds like that's that's tough man that is hard to, that is hard one to take bro honestly he's not wrong you're literally going out of your way to clip channels out of context for your own gain you can't get mad when they react when you, when that's your intentions hmm what a, what a sensitive cuck. His intention is to entertain people he's not harming anyone by these adult men who can't take a little bit of banter because they're way too self-serious yeah, no context. That's cool. But you're trying to, yeah, it's no context. It's literally meant to be no context. Finch Dreams, thank you for the 99 or 0.99 euro. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now you need to get out of your way to find clips of some channels like Rance. All he does is talk nonsense, read the name of the page. Yeah, uh, like it's literally the whole point. Like, wait, what did they say? And you have to know the context for it to make sense. But because you don't have the context, that's why it don't make sense. It's like the Chewbacca defense. That does not make sense. Literally no reason to hate rants. Just says a lot of truth about things. I disagree with some of that's a different opinion. Asking a no context account to post context is wild. <laughs> oh, bro. He's talking about talent. You literally clip other YouTubers for a living. That's not talent. That's joblessness. Some people will say talking about football nonstop is joblessness. Some people will say ranting and what doing watch-alongs is like not a talent either but we're not going to sit here and say that are we because some people will get upset now it's not a talent to do watch alongs but it's a talent to entertain and provide a space where people will want to come and enjoy your presentation and be there and interact in the chat and shit like that ah uh, how is it joblessness if you just said he's making a living that's like asking, sorry, that's like saying, how can any football fan talk about Mbappe do it going to Madrid? Like they have no talent, doesn't make much sense. Yeah, anyone can talk about anything. It hurts because you can't deny the fact that X is 100% more entertaining and funnier than Rance. I agree. I agree. I, I, like, I, I don't mind him. Like I'm not here to talk shit on the guy. Like people might say I am in a way, but like I don't mind Rance. But like you don't get that excitement. You don't get that energy. You don't get that buzz that you do from uh, an expressions. And it's just, uh, that's just the facts. It is just the fact. So that was probably a bit of a bit of a harsh one there, but yeah, emotional damage, big time. Kadima, no, no, no. We were talking about Zuba Mendy, talking about Goldbridge going off at Man City again, looking at Chelsea's, you know, 50 man squad, and now we're just going on to the um the the Aussie Mandem talk. The Aussie Mandem and me being the Australian guy, hating them low key apparently because I dare to criticize or have a difference of opinion with things they say and, and things like that. Uh, and just looking at some things from before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to look at that. Yeah, I heard John uh, John Terry 2.0. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that. We'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that. So that was that That was that was bit there. But to go back to this here, this, 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 this bit here. <laughs> at least I make the person laugh. That's a positive. I'll make the person laugh. Well done. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Making people laugh. That's what we want to do. This is entertainment, of course. It's commentary entertainment. That's where it's at. I, I, I have to go back to this to, to finalize this because it's going to go back to the whole, um, you know, clickbait content, why talking about me type of conversation here. So we had another tweet from, again, people think like all I'm doing is hating on Lee. He, he's the one who's saying these things. He's the one who's saying these things. 
therefore he's the one who's going to get the, the criticism. If he's not saying these things, then he's not going to get the criticism. So it is what it is. But in any case, he goes, first, Henry writes, fair play to all for all the people that you've sold out for this summer. Secondly, what the actual fuck has happened to you, fella? It's mad. Thirdly, this particular video is mad. Fabrizio Romano in the thumbnail and not once was he mentioned. Lastly, notice the difference in views when you talk about other clubs compared with Arsenal. Let's not take the piss here, fella. This crap needs to stop. I swear it's jarring as fuck for an actual Arsenal fan. Imagine an Arsenal fan sucking off Spurs 7, 10 videos for fuck's sake. 7 out of 10. Find God or shame. Oh, stop using Fabrizio Romano picks to get more attention. It's embarrassing, pal. State of YouTubers, clout chasers, loads of subs and views while causing me a problem. Fix up for fuck's sake. So why is he tagging Fabrizio in this, first and foremost? And he's going after Henry right now as well. He's going after Henry Wright. I, I don't understand. This is the um the the video, the um things in question. Let me just quickly change up. There we go, so you can see it properly. So he's got his videos out here. Oh my god, new Arsenal sign new midfielder 21k views. Now I mentioned this uh promise you're giving the game away, bro. You people are too good. You're giving the game away, brother. You're giving the game away. Calma, calma, you're giving the game away. Now I mentioned last week or the week before that. Yes, Henry has had a boom in subs, he's had a boom in views and all that sort of shit, but that's because he's speaking about things that are current and topical in the football news right now. He's talking about Arsenal, he's talking about Manchester United, Chelsea not so much. He might be talking about Liverpool now, oh, Zuba Mendy, oh my God, here we go, and all this sort of shit. And this whole, oh, here we go, and all that sort of stuff, that shit needs to fucking piss off as well. I'm sick of fucking hearing it, man. Yeah, bro, I come from former Yugoslavia. Yeah, man. I actually, um, I was out to dinner with um, a group of friends and uh, one of my uh, mates' uh, girlfriends is Polish. So there you go. Peregi for the wins. Uh, we didn't have Peregi tonight. We had uh, Hot Pot, which um, which was uh, nice. Uh, but yeah, man. Former Yugoslavia. Macedonian, shall we say. Uh, yeah, bro. Big up former Yugoslavia. Let's go. But fuck Novak Djokovic. I can't stand that bloke. Anyways, so that's what he's talking about. Fabrizio Romano in the thumbnail here not being used. Now that I would think is the definition of clickbait, including something in the thumbnail or the title that has no actual relevance to the topic at hand in the video. Now, to be fair, to be fair to Henry, this is on his channel where he talks about all things football. So he's got two channels. He's got Henry Talks Football. Now let me read this for you because it's not that big here. It says, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'll be talking all things football related. Football related, make sure to hit the subscribe button. All things football related, not specifically about Spurs, not specifically about the Premier League or international football, football related. So anything football which to me means he can speak about any damn fucking thing he wants, whether I like it or not. Whether I like it or not, I don't give a shit. He's talking about Arsenal making new signings for X amount of dollars. Tottenham's new attack plan is genius. Arsenal's new midfielder. You know, uh, Arsenal to sign Nico Williams. Manchester United's next three signings revealed or whatever the hell it is. It's mad. He can do whatever the hell he wants. I might not like it myself. I might look and think everything is exaggerated it's over the top whatever it is but bro you know what he's he's found something that works for him let him do his thing i have no issue with this everyone has to has to get their views and make their money somehow bro if this is how he's doing he's making his money let him make his money let him do his thing i've got no problem with it now one thing i will say though is everything looks very exaggerated though the facial reactions the players the photoshopping the, the titles and stuff like that, everything's, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It gets a little bit boring. It gets a little bit repetitive. But this is akin to like the football terrorists and Terry doing like, oh my God, scary Arsenal or Liverpool frightened me and shit like that. That is cringe as fuck. Cringe as fuck. YouTube is full of clickbait, Sam, saying 100% it is. 100% Sam. This is why, again, I try to avoid this as much as I can. I might do something for a laugh every now and again, but if I ever find myself clickbaiting hard on YouTube football, oh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of it, man. I don't want to be a part of it. Now, the other one he's got is Henry Wright TV. So this one was for football. Henry Wright TV is all Tottenham Hotspur. Archie Gray.
Yes, Archie Gray. Well done. Hello, my name is Henry. I'm the owner of Henry Wright TV. By now, you have guessed I'm a huge Spurs fan. My channel will cover everything Tottenham throughout the season. So he's got two channels, one for Tottenham, one for football. Where is the problem here, Mr. Lee Gunner? I don't see the problem here. The man found himself a nice little way to, to get the, the people there and, and watching and shit like that. And it's working for him. The man's gained, what, 6,000 subs in like two or three weeks or something? Fair plays to him. How are you going to hate on that? How are you going to hate on that? I don't have a problem with this. We'll let you know when you start grifting. Don't worry. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's hope it never comes to the grift club. But think about it. How often can you have a video on new transfer, new rumors? This is done. Done deal. Fees agreed. Be excited. Be buzzing. Bro, you fucking... Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being cynical. I just see it too much and I'm just over it myself. But the man's got two channels for two different reasons. What's wrong with him posting about other clubs? What, because he talks about Arsenal all of a sudden like you're annoyed at him now or something? Is that the problem? Scary Arsenal. Is that the problem? Because he's... And, and I can't find this tweet anywhere. I had this saved and I can't find it now. It's It has been removed. So I don't know where it's gone. It has been removed from the Twitters. It might have been deleted, if you know what I mean. Um, was it on here? He's not following anyone, which is mad. Oh, he actually quote tweeted me as well. This is mad. This is this was actually a bit interesting here. I got I got a, a quote tweet, not from him, but from um somebody else, which um yeah, it's been interesting. Made money off him, whatever. Oh, there it is. I did save it, so I didn't show up. Anyways, yeah, this is it here. Yeah, there's a thumbnail. And this one here as well. It says, make a thumbnail. Why is my OBS all over the place? What's going on here? There we go. Yeah, Alice, yeah. I, I, look, they all do it. They all do it. Oh, my, like, oh, like, they, 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 they do this. They all do this. They do this. Like, the, they all do the faces like that, or I hate that shit. The clickbait fucking soy... Oh, fucking pisses me off. I fucking hate it. Worst is you have to see me smiling like a doofus in my thumbnails because I don't have any other photos that I want to actually use as a, hey, welcome. <laughs> Got beard hair in me. <laughs> welcome to my uh, stream type of thing. I don't mind her content. Her content is actually not bad. I didn't like her at first, but like the presentation and the way she speaks and stuff, it's grown on me. I don't mind her. I think she's okay. I think she's Okay. They want to be the only one who should talk about Arsenal. Well, Tawana, that's the thing. Everyone is able to speak about everybody else. That's that's what it is. And just one more thing here. I mostly agree with him here. I, I mostly agree with him here. He says, make a thumbnail, check. Again, he's tweeted for Bridger Romano. How many times do you want this man? Do you, do you want this man to notice you or something? Do you want him to say, oh, hello, Lee, how are you? Post Remitio's, uh, sorry, Remitio, Fabricio's face in it, mock up some trending players linked to Arsenal and aim from an arrow uh, arrow from Fabricio to the player. Play a video of Fabricio speaking about the player who is not linked to Arsenal. Six minutes later, no cunt remembers what he was in the thumbnail. Fuck this crap, fuck off. <laughs> Hates it. Oh, look, someone said it. Make a Twitter post. Tag Romano 10 times plus in 24 hours. Times hoping he sees it. Look even more like a rat. Holy shit. I swear I saw a clip of you and Rance crying when why everyone was so angry offline, but here you are waffling and getting angry about everything. You old men are so funny. Damn. Oh my God. Arsenal, very scary. Do you have some personal problem with Terry Fluis? Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Well, the fact that he's, what, how many times here? So one, two, three. And then he's also got. One, two, five tags in the space of two tweets is madness. I Again, fair play. The man cracked the formula. Henry's doing something. It's working for him. I got no issue with that whatsoever. But if man wants to sit here complaining, like, why are they talking about my club? It's like if Henry starts talking about Liverpool now. Let him talk about Liverpool. I couldn't give two fucks. Just because you're stuck and pigeonholed yourself in one particular area where you can't be positive about anything for fear of being called a hypocrite or a turncoat or a non-believer or whatever it is, ain't our problem, man. It ain't our problem. Now, this is what I don't understand about people on YouTube. Like, 
your your career is essentially giving your thoughts and opinions on football on the internet, which is fine. Do your thing. That's not a problem. But like every aspect in life, when you say something and someone disagrees with it, some will just think, oh, I think that's a load of bullshit and go on with the day. Others will be looking at it and thinking, actually, hang on a second. I don't. I don't buy that, and here's why. And they'll tell you why they think that's that's that thing. Think of how many football channels and content creators have arise just from them giving their opinion because they heard something somewhere or someone said some madness and then they gave their thoughts. Imagine if they never said anything at all. They wouldn't be where they are today. If Lee never actually reacted on AFTV, for example, he probably would never have gotten to where he is now. If Saeed never went on United Stand, he maybe never would have got into the position he's at right now. I mean, just to use these guys as examples, sometimes you just have to put yourself out there. And if it is referencing or talking about what someone else said and putting your own points forward, counterpoints or agreeing or disagreeing, whatever it is, I don't think there's an issue with that. I think that's fine.